Welcome to the Game of Risk, everyone. I'm your host, Olive XC. And today on Tudor Tuesday, we are reviewing one of the greatest Europe Advanced Capitals games of all time from JJ Bra, a legend and top 10 player in the world at this game. He is a black player with some sick, sick blizzards. You can see he's capping in the center, but look at this. We got blizzards here, 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 and here. These blizzards really choke up the middle. So the fact that JJ Bra is capped here and also that he's going before the orange player, it just allows him to take over everything uh, almost instantly. You also notice the majority of his territory is located in the center of the board here. And because of that entire center position, he could probably, I think, take over like two bonuses here, right? On turn one, like just plast here and here. And I think JJ can have a sick turn one hold and this can be an amazing snowball. And as this game starts, we're currently not seeing where any of our opponents are. This implies some people may be fighting over Noob Corner. Uh, some people can be fighting for London, France, Spain. This is all mostly away from us. Like, Orange has a relatively bad capital, but there's a lot of big stacks in a way, like this purple three, that will really prevent them from doing anything to JJ Bra, at least for a turn. So I'm not worried about the Orange player at all here. But as the title of this thumbnail shows everyone, I thought JJ Bra can only go for two bonuses. JJ does something I didn't even know was, like, possible. And he makes the sickest play, I think, of all time. He does a 3v1. He loves risk. And he gets the, that another 3v1 to work. And then look at this pathing. Path he's using the slider to minimize his overall troop loss. And he's attacking and actually taking over three bonuses on turn one. Does he lose a dice here? No, no, he keeps five on capital. Five is good enough because there's only a one next to him. It is the white player, but unless white goes like full self-destructo mode, you can see JJ bro is just shocked, right? He's taking a freaking screenshot because that's just a ridiculous, ridiculous start to the game right there. Like He's laughing like crazy right now. If he manages to hold a plus eight, a plus four, and a plus four in like 18 territories. I can't even think about how many troops that is. It's like, like, like 20 troops on the first round. He'll just snowball in the most epic fashion of all time if that's the case. And given where his opponent's capped, I'm not sure what they can possibly do to stop this. This is, I think, like one of the luckiest starts ever. And we can see the first round is done and nobody has done anything of significance to possibly stop JJ. And you can see he's really focused right now, trying to figure out his next move and how he wants to grow his game. Another thing we're noticing that he's looking at, he's looking at the at the, the dice here that keep slight moving. This implies that Yell is making a lot of aggressive plays. And oh my gosh, Red just loses three on a two. And they're doing wasting troops attacking. That's a 0% roll. Incredible. JJ Bro gets 24 troops. This might already be over unless these opponents do something to stop him. If you're getting 24 troops on the first round, you can do like almost anything. And I think it's almost unstoppable. If I'm JJ, I probably think about trying to take out some players. Yeah, take the capital. There's nothing that the orange player can do about it. He just gets, gosh, amazing dice. Oh my goodness gracious. Orange's game is just done. And JJ just... Takes over everything on the board. Oh my goodness. And he just takes Germany. Oh my god. And he's attacking into France. Purple is there. And and looks like JJ loses the role. But this, this is insane. The aggression of this man is insane right now. And he goes back to capital. The only thing I'm worried about is that his capital here is like a little bit weak. But it's turn two. He has 32 territories. And look, he plays with automated bots, but JJ Bra literally has the whole board on one turn. 
Like the way that he attacks is so majestic. It's with purpose. It's with speed. It's with striking accuracy. He got the most use out of his entire turn to get to where he is right now. And surely the purple player breaks. And yes, they break Eastern Europe. This was an excellent move of purple, but they failed to break the Germany bonus right now. When someone's getting this many troops, it's too dangerous. Because white, white could break Germany. That would be good. Oh my gosh, is white offline? Yes, white's offline and they're not attacking JJ Bra right now. Oh my goodness. This is now a four player game. Absolutely insane. Can anybody stop one of the greatest snowballs of all time? Like this video is one of, I think, JJ Bra at his finest right now. And now we see the yellow player. Can yellow possibly do anything to stop JJ Bra? But JJ just has so much territory. He's going to be getting at least a couple bonuses. And yellow's doing nothing. And red just gets three. Red can't do anything. Because red can't do anything. With all of these players just losing their bonuses and capitals and everybody attacking each other, JJ has full control over the entirety of the board. And it keeps getting better because the red player has now given up. JJ is still getting 29 troops. The only players are in are the purple player and the yellow player. And look at JJ. He attacks in a perfect line to take the bonus. That's yellow's capital. That's yellow. And that's purple. Oh my gosh. And he takes all that over. And he's breaking the purple player. Okay, so that's purple. That's how they took out the red player. So purple has a couple of capitals right now. And white, it looks like they have a, a large portion of noob corner. Insane. Like if, if I'm JJ, I just basically go back to capital. Good, good. He was thinking about defending his bonus, but at this point you have all of the board. The only thing that can really stop you now is if the, both players go all in against you and take your capital with a really good roll. By just keeping one capital alive, you're going to be okay. And it looks like the bots are still attacking JJ, but when you have over 45 territories on round three, who can stop you? And no way, no way is purple giving up. And purple invades yellow. Are you kidding me? This is insane. This is absolutely insane. The yellow player is only getting five per turn. JJ is about ready to set up a capital run on the next move. Thankfully, the bot put some troops back. Now, does the bot go in and attack further like uh, into JJ? I think no matter what happens, I, I don't know what can stop them. If I'm yellow, I think I have to play this for a second. Keep things on capital and allow JJ to do what JJ has to do. Like, like look at his face right now. Look how focused he is and ready to go. And the bot doesn't attack. This bot is continental. It's not breaking. And now we can see the yellow player is just getting five. JJ has 58 troops. Yellow has something like 30-ish or so. But the yellow player is showing some competency attacking and breaking, trying to do as much as they can here. But they're not attacking JJ. I, I think they recognize that JJ is just going to win the game. And they want to just stay alive. Like, like, what can stop this? And most of the time when I do these Tutor Tuesday episodes, I am giving commentary of like mistakes like the other players are making and what they can be doing better. And while JJ maybe can put one or two extra troops on capital, given how weak his opponents have been, I think just aggressively expanding and daring his opponents to do something to stop him almost cause unyielding pressure to force his opponents to give up is an amazing move. And yeah, I think JJ Bro just wants to trade in here. Or does he just want to wait? And he just decides to like, no, this doesn't matter. He does make one unnecessary blast, but now look at this. He's just going off capital, taking over everything. What is this? What is this? He's just taking over the whole board. No way. No freaking way. He just takes Russia now. That's just red. He just killed red in a rampaging fashion who also had a set here. And JJ bro has a set on the next turn. 
I, I have no words. This is no longer risk. This is art. He's just killing the orange player, taking who has another set on three, and now he's able to trade it and guarantee a set on the next turn. Oh my goodness gracious. And now what is JJ doing? He's going into the white player. Oh my gosh. Yeah, and he's just breaking everything and taking another capital. Oh my gosh. And I'd probably try to defend your capital on the bottom here, right? Even if it's just like a three, every three does make a difference. And yeah, with one capital being a six, one being a nine, and then the purple capital also having stuff here. And, and just given the earliness of the game right now, it's just impossible, I think, for Yell to have enough troops to go in and do the cap run. Because this is by the like already 15, 17 troops. The most I can have is something like 30. And just a distance to traverse across the board, I think, is too much for the yellow player to do. The white trades in. White's going to break JJ. But when you win enti the entire board, who cares if you're getting broken? Oh, no, never mind. The white boss just attacking purple. I'm sorry. I, I thought these bots actually would attack JJ. Oh, there we go. His bonuses, bro. JJ's losing all of his bonuses. I knew when I saw this game a couple of weeks ago, I wanted to share this. When I think about what I want to do and improve this channel, I want to get to this level to have the most craziest snowballs ever. Like, this is just pure entertainment because so few players in the world can attack the way that he does, play that, we, that he does, get this level of success. What JJ is doing here is simply incredible. And I think the yellow player recognizing they're going to lose. They're just trying to take out purple. They're trying to take out as many players as possible and to give themselves the second place finish. Yellow, I think, is doing the best thing that they can in this situation to stay alive and a series of hopeless, hopeless events. And I think Yellow did it. J Yellow just handed the game to JJ Braun a silver platter and just says, please give me second. And with 70 troops, one away from the mystical 69 troops in one turn. Only thing I think stopping this game from perfection. JJ Bra goes in and now the Yellow player is in a line to be destroyed by JJ. He doesn't even need to slider. And this, ladies and gentlemen, is a perfect game. The greatest turn one of all time. Beautiful, beautiful art. Thank you to JJ Bro for allowing me to look at this game. Make sure to subscribe to this man because he is amazing. But this is Olive XC signing off.